Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thundermus Lure Company and welcome to today's cooking edition of Thundermus Fishing Tips. I've got myself a beautiful fresh rainbow trout and today folks what we're going to do is we're going to grill some trout on the barbecue. It's a simple easy recipe and it's fantastic every single time. You could use this recipe on any trout, doesn't have to be a rainbow or even a small salmon for that matter and I'm doing a whole trout today, uh, not a fillet. So what I've done, I started off very simply. I took a half an onion, uh, any onion. I happen to have red onions in the house, so that's what I use, but I prefer a sweet onion like a Vidalia. But regardless, a half an onion sliced thin, um, one big clove of garlic or two small cloves, chopped up, uh, minced. And then what I like to do is I like to add uh, about a tablespoon of parsley, whether it's fresh or uh, dry, doesn't matter, but I have fresh today, so I'm gonna put fresh in. Um, table or a teaspoon and a half of paprika and then a teaspoon of salt. Uh, along with that I'm going to add eight tablespoons of virgin olive oil and uh, basically going to mix that all together. That's my brine and then I'm going to take the brine and I'm going to take my whole trout and I'm going to put some brine on top. I'm going to put some inside the fish I'm gonna, and then I'm going to flip it and do the same thing to the other side. And ideally, you want it to sit in that brine for a half an hour. So let it sit 15 minutes on one side, flip it, let it sit 15 minutes on the other side, you're good to go. So that's what I have here right now, and I am good to go. So I have already been preheating the grill. It's been on high, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna back it off a bit now. So I'm gonna put it on low. And I've got my trout here in the brine. The easiest way to do it is just with your hands. Take your trout, drain the excess because you will get some flare up on, on the barbecue. But it's okay to have a little bit of extra there. All right, and he's gonna go right on the grill. There we go. Down goes the lid. Okay, now, this is the tricky part. Not really tricky, but Every fish is different, small, big, thick, thin, and, uh, the, and, and every, every barbecue is different. So you have to judge yourself when the fish is ready. Usually it could be anywhere uh, from 8 to 12 minutes per side uh, on a whole fish, um, and then you flip it. So I'm going to keep an eye on this fish, and uh, you can tell when the meat is white and flaky, the fish is ready. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it go eight minutes and then I'll check it and then if it needs more I'll let it go a couple more minutes uh, and then I'm going to flip it. Now while that trout is cooking I forgot to mention that I also had a very important ingredient. I don't know how I forgot but uh, I take a whole fresh lemon and I like to roll it um, and then I uh, cut it in half and then I juice it. So I take the juice of one fresh lemon and I add that into the brine as well. So uh, you don't have to use fresh lemon. You could use um, any type of lemon juice. I personally like to use fresh lemons. Okay, it's been about a good 11 minutes, maybe just over 11. I took a peek and it's going to be time to flip this fish. So the good news is now I know how long to uh, let it sit on the other side. So we're going to give him a flip best that we can. Some of the skin looks like it's stuck to the grill, but that's okay. Oh yeah, you can see how this is, it's white and flaky, uh, and that's absolutely perfect. All right. We'll wait patiently for another 10, 11 minutes. Okay folks, the, uh, the trout is now ready. It's actually, it took a couple minutes less this time on this side, and that's because of course I cooked with the lid closed. So the other half was already starting to cook a bit. And the other thing I wanna mention, I had mentioned how the skin had stuck to the, uh, to the grill. Well, if I would have taken just 30 seconds and just pre-oiled that grill, that would have helped avoid the uh, the stickiness. But my trout is, is ready, folks. Oh, it smells really good. Okay. Let's see if we can get this off in one piece. Do my best. Oh, there we go. 
That's what I mean about the skin. I've lost some skin there, but that's okay. There we have it, folks. One perfectly grilled trout. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Now, to serve your trout, you can garnish it with some lemons or with some fresh parsley if you want. You could actually even squeeze some lemon uh, on, your, on your trout if you'd like. Uh, but this, folks, look at that. That's what I mean by white. It's flaky. The meat is, you could tell, is perfectly cooked. It just flakes off nicely. What can I tell you, folks? It doesn't get any easier than that. This is absolutely delicious. If you love trout and you love grilling, you're going to love this recipe. I hope you get an opportunity to give it a try. I'm going to have myself a nice meal tonight. Hope you give it a try and have a nice meal, too. Thanks ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck, good fishing, and bon appetit. Mm.